This is another episode of Review and All the Dream Works movies leading up to Trolls Band Together. I will only do reveal movies I've seen. For the ones I haven't seen, I won't be doing reveal movies. So, yeah. And I've got to stop using that thing now because it's getting old and overused. So, yeah. And the next review is Mr. Peabody in Sherman. Yep, so let's get into the plot. So the basic plot is we have Mr. Peabody and Sherman going on French Revolution and they end up with some cat with like trying to do history and they try to explore around this time travelling machine and then Then they meet up with Penny Peterson at possibly Sherman's school Penny was picking on him and they got in a fight and Sherman bite Penny and then Miss Green, the villain, shows up. And then, all of a sudden, uh, Mr. Peabody has to help, help Sherman uh, to find, we've got on adventures and stuff to, like, different countries, Leonardo da Vinci and uh, Egypt, for example. And then the time traveler was having trouble and that's basically what, and trying to save it and that's basically what the plot is. I will say, this is actually one of the most underrated movies of 2014. Yeah. This is actually the most underrated movie of 2014 so far. And by the way, this is actually, hands down, one of the best movies from Bullwinkle Studios. The director's Rocky and Ball and Call, which I have not seen that film, but this is actually my favourite out out them so far. Mr. Peabody was okay, I guess. Sherman was oh very good. And Penny was a little bit annoying, but it was okay. But this movie is so good. Oh boy, now we're gonna talk about the villain. That is I would say the villain in this movie sucks. Yep. He's also known as the fifth worst DreamWorks villain I've ever seen in my life. Four being Miss Atlaw from Gang. Three being Cliff Van Der Cave from The Crude. Second being Prince Charming from Shrek the Third. And one being Francis Francis from The Boss Baby. As the worst DreamWorks villains I have ever seen, period. But Francis Francis is even worse than the villain in Mr. Peabody and Sherman. I will say... She was atrocious in this movie. Love you. Sorry about that. Back I was saying. I was saying she was atrocious in this movie. Yeah. So yeah. Farrell's Chin. That's my review on Mr. People and Sherman. And my next review is Foshed Away.